Hello, and welcome to the Pest Control Marketing Podcast with your host, me, Hal Coleman, uncensored and unplugged. Pay attention, take lots of notes, because you're going to find out exactly how to get more new customers, more referrals, and grow your business. Hal Coleman has been active in the pest control industry for over 40 years, including owning and operating his own successful pest control business for 18 years. He now devotes his time to helping other PCOs and other WCOs double, triple, and even quadruple their businesses faster than they ever imagined. Be sure to check out his website, pestcontrolmarketer.com. For more information about Hal's coaching program, you can reach him at 770-993-0004 or email him hal at halcoleman.com. Mike Stewart is known as the Internet Audio and Video Guy. Since the birth of the Internet, Mike has been showing small business owners how to get more new customers, increase their sales, and grow their businesses online using audio and video, now with iPhones and Android phones. For more information about Mike's coaching program and his online training courses, visit MikeStewartCoaching.com or email him Mike at InternetAudioGuide.com. Well, hello, folks. This is Hal Coleman, the Pest Control Marketer, and welcome to another episode of the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. I'm here with my friend, business association, associate, mentor, and good old buddy, Mike Stewart, the internet audio and video guy, better known as Mr. Online. I assume you're there, Mike. I can't see you. Well, that's the beautiful part about radio is you don't have to see me. <laughs> that's a good thing for both of us. I've got the perfect face for radio. Me too, me too. So but that's uh, okay. Yeah, you know, you never know what we're going to talk about until we sit down at the microphone, and I think that's that's what makes this fun. It's, it's kind of working without a net, you know, and, and uh, I, I'm too lazy to uh, rehearse anything, and you probably are too, so we just jump in, and you usually ask me, what we're going to talk about today, and I tell you, and we jump right into it. So that, that's what I like. One of the things I really like about doing this, it's real, it's not scripted. So so if you want to ask me what we're going to talk about today, I'll tell you. Well, you know, one of the things I think is one of the charms of, of this podcast is it's just a conversation about two people talking with passion about marketing. Uh, marketing, you know, I've been a student of marketing uh, probably – not as long as you. Uh, you've read, read a lot of books. You've been to a lot of seminars. You've listened to a lot of mentors. I as well. I traveled the world with some of the most brightest uh, marketing people in the world. And so when it comes to online marketing and when it comes to offline marketing, offline marketing covers a whole lot of different approaches, uh, uh, magazine articles, yellow page ads, billboards, radio, TV is, you know, it's really offline marketing and the internet is online marketing. Um, you know, there's probably not a subject that we don't have an opinion or an experience about. So that's what I write. You know, if, if I started knowing what we we're going to talk about, I may overthink it this way. It becomes yeah. right from the heart. It just pulls out my feelings, my experience, my passion. And I think it does it for you too. So, well, you know, when back when we both got really, we used to do jingles uh, for a guy 40 years ago. We write and produce jingles, but we weren't into marketing. We were into writing and producing jingles. Right. And uh, and then back in about 1990, uh, maybe 1991, uh, you introduced me to the world of the Internet. And, I mean, you 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 taught me how to reach small businesses in my community using the internet and i taught you how to reach small businesses in your community by going and visiting with them and in person so uh that's why generally i refer to you as mr online you refer to me as mr offline i'm the big networking guy and you're the you're the online guy but it's all our goal is the same to reach the people in your community and build relations uh, relationships with them and and turn them into friends and customers so the, our goal is the same and, well yeah uh, and and at, at the end of the day you know you've got to communicate the information that makes somebody make a buying decision that that you you are the solution 
and and of course, I mean, I remember one of uh, what Dan Kennedy said years ago. Um, um, you know, words sell. It's what you say. It's what people comprehend and and understand that you have the solution to their problem. So, what are you going to talk about today? Well, speaking of that, that was a great segue into word sale, because today I want to talk about sales letters, Mike. Uh, and, and a lot of people probably listening to this probably aren't, aren't sure, don't even know what a sales letter is. And a sales letter is simply sitting down and writing a letter. And, and in this context that we're always talking about, which is how to get a customer, okay, a sales letter is salesmanship in print. It's sitting down and writing a letter to someone explaining to them why they should do business with you. And uh, uh, versus an ad, you know, a business card institutional ad that, as, you, as we see uh, in most uh, it, common in the yellow pages before there was an Internet, but now on websites or just like the old yellow pages, they're just ads. They just have name of the business uh, and and uh, maybe the address and a phone number. But there's no powerful, dynamic, compelling, seductive, hypnotic, and irresistible conversation that 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 convinces that person beyond a shadow of a doubt that their search is over, that they have found the person that they need to be doing business with, and they just need to pick up the phone and call them or click a link and schedule an appointment. That's what's missing, and uh, that's what sales letters do. Uh, it's just like if you send a salesman to somebody's front door, uh, and the person comes to the door, which is like landing on your website or finding your yellow page ad, that salesman needs to be well prepared to answer all of their objections and build that compelling reason why the person should choose them to do business with. And a lot of people, uh, one of the most common comments I get when I talk to somebody about a sales letter, say, well, people aren't going to read something like that. People aren't going to read that. I, I couldn't tell you how many times I've heard that. And it all goes back to Larry Latimer, our mentor from years ago, who's uh, passed away many years ago. But Larry taught me about sales letters probably 15 years ago. And, and he was working with my pest control company. And he said, I want to show you how to make direct mail work. I told him that direct mail had been the most abysmal and expensive failure that I had yet encountered at that time with my pest control business. So he looked at what I had done, and and he, so he, I'm going to try to make this story short, but he he got me to sit down, and, and uh, it was wintertime, and we're getting r rodent calls for rats. And, and he said, well, what, he actually said, what's the number one pest in the pest control industry that, that people deal with in their homes that makes the hair stand up on the back of their necks more than anything else? I said, probably rats and snakes. He said, do you do rat and snake jobs? I said, we don't do snake jobs. You know, we'll go get one out of a house. But we do a lot of rat work, rodent work. He said, would you like to do more? And I said, yeah, sure. So he said, well, here's what we're going to do. And he, he started talking to me about rat. How do, how do we do a rat inspection? When do, how do we get the call? Where do we go? What do we do when we go up in the attic of a house or look around? What are we looking for? What do we identify? How do, how do we propose a, a treatment or a cure what all has to be done. So I'm going through all of this stuff. And uh, Larry said, I want you to sit down and write a letter, an informative letter about roof rats. Roof rats were what we, we dealt with mostly here. So I sat down, start writing this letter, and it got more complicated. He kept pushing me. I actually went to the Fulton County Health Department and interviewed uh, a guy who w was with the 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 health department who dealt with rodent issues and and interviewed him and got statements from him and i put a lot of time uh into writing this letter now the letter ended up being nine pages long and uh so then larry we finally got it edited larry said this is a great letter and, and he said, and now he wrote another letter that was a page and a half long, which he called a pickup letter, which was a, a letter from 
Actually, it was from him uh, describing an, an, a true and accurate account of what happened when a rat got into his home and how horrifying it was. So all in all, this, uh, this letter was 10 and a half pages long. And so instead of sending a postcard or a flyer or a, or a vow pack or a, some other home type direct mail piece, I sent a nine, I sent a 10 and a half page letter and a full size legal envelope. Uh, and I picked out a thousand specific people to send it to when I sent it out. And to this day, that was the highest response I have ever, ever gotten on any direct mail piece I've ever done. Never topped it. So that proved to me that people will read it. Uh, people will read anything if they're interested in it or if it's interesting to read and it affects them. You know, if you, uh, if you were on a, uh, a waiting list for a heart transplant and a new study came out that if it's 100 pages long about a heart transplant, you'd probably read it because it pertains to you. So, so uh, sales letters, and if you go to my website, Mike, you were pest control marketer, you will see it just scrolls down and it's just one long sales letter is all it is. What I call a sales letter website. It's filled with, uh, with buying response triggers and hypnotic techniques and strategies to keep people engaged, to keep them interesting and to show the value of doing business. So if you if you're not writing sales, I, I it's my belief that every single business, especially home service businesses like pest control, every every business needs a standard bread and butter one page sales letter, and that can be your flyer, it can be your mail piece that you send out in direct mail, it can be the piece that you leave on people's doors when you if, if you knock doors. If you go to a network meeting, it can be the piece that you leave behind on everybody's table. It can be the piece that you fold over and you attach to your business card and you hand it to somebody when you're pumping gas and say, here, if you ever have a problem, you know, with pests, give me a call. And they open it up. And instead of just a business card, they open it up and there's your one page bread and butter sales letter. And, and, and they read it. And that letter, if, if written properly and, and it, dynamic, compelling, seductive way convinces them right there on the spot that you are the best pest control company in town and it lists all the advantages of doing business with you instead of all those other guys out there. And that one-page sales letter, uh, and you, you know what? You can just print it right off on your printer. You don't have to go to spend any money to get it done. It can just be in black and white. Uh, Black ink on white paper has sold more uh, products and services than all the other put together. So uh, uh, if you don't have a good sales letter for your business, a good one-page sales letter, uh, you need to have one, Mike, don't you? And now here's a word from our sponsor. Google Pest Control marketing grow your business like never before call 770-993-0004 did you hear that that is a jingle but more than that it is an audio logo and what i call a marketing earworm but you know that's a bug that's a worm you want in your local market on youtube facebook spotify and podcasts like you're listening to right now Yes, you should do a podcast as a PCO, but we'll talk about that another time. You want your market singing Google your name, what you do, and your phone number. Simple, but it works. If you want to cash in on this marketing bonanza, go to PestControlMarketingJingles.com to learn more. Or just call me, Mike Stewart, at 770-826-3662, or call Hal Coleman at 770-993-0004. And we would love to show you how to do what we call search and call advertising with earworms. And oh yeah, it works on that old timey technology of radio and television. Why don't you call us today and learn more? Google Pest Control Marketing. Grow your business like never before. 
Call 770-993-0004. Well, I, I couldn't agree more, but, you know, this is because of our background. You know, I remember the first time I heard Dan Kennedy speak, and he used the, the terminology sales letter. And I go, what's that got to do with the Internet? You know, and you're probably thinking, what's that got to do with my pest control business? Well, once again, it's a terminology that is over 100 plus years old. And it comes from the fact that um, it was actually a letter sent through the mail. It was a form of direct mail advertising. And I remember Dan Kennedy that day, he said, the Internet to me is nothing but a a mail with electrons, meaning it's to him, it was just the same as the U S mail, uh, paper and ink, you know, it's just, it was cheaper. It was distributed to the world electronically. So therefore you didn't need paper or ink, but the information that you were getting into the eyes and ears of, of the market is identical. I mean, in other words, what, what the purpose of the terminology sales letter, a definition should be the information that con- converts a stranger into a buyer. And so there are lots of places to use the psychology of the sales letter, even though it's not really a physical letter that you fold up and put in an envelope. It is the information. It, uh, uh, to quote Claude Hopkins, who is the father of the sales letter. Um, and if you've never heard of Claude Hopkins, you better, because if you've got a web designer developing your website or you've got a print company developing your brochures or you've got a billboard company or you've got a television producer or you've got a radio producer, if you don't use the psychologies of the sales letter, what Claude Hopkins called salesmanship in print, salesmanship in print or salesmanship in audio or salesmanship in video or salesmanship on the Internet, if you don't have that, you have got pretty. And Dan Kennedy says pretty doesn't sell, words do. So and I'm going to I'm going to give you some resources that you should make it a priority when you get to your computer to go to. A good friend of mine uh that I've known for years, a great internet mar- marketer named Carl Galetti uh has the book called Scientific Advertising. And if you've never heard of scientific advertising, you should go to scientific advertising Dot com today, and you can download the book by Claude C. Hopkins. It's over a hundred years old, but Claude Hopkins was the father of direct response marketing. Now, when it comes to advertising, there's three types of advertising: there's image advertising, there's urgency advertising, and there's direct response. Most of my mentors say you don't have the budgets for image, and you don't have the budgets for urgency. Urgency means we've got a sale this week. If you don't buy by Thursday, you you miss out. That's urgency. Image is, you know, you'll have a bug-free home when you use us. Well, that's nice, but that doesn't create a response. That's just an image. Coca-Cola, McDonald's, all uh, big uh, national advertisers do image advertising. Direct response is you have a problem. We have the solution. Call us now to fix your problem. That's what a sales letter can do. And if you've never heard of David Ogilvy, I'm looking at scientific advertising right now. David Ogilvy is one of the most successful advertising agencies in the history of advertising. He did and the he, Marlboro Man, didn't he? Uh, that was, that was um, um, it might have been his agency. O- Ogilvy, Ogilvy uh, Mather was the big ad agency. You'd have to yeah. Google the history. Do- David Ogilvy is a legend in advertising. And here's what he said about scientific advertising. Nobody at any level, that means you, me, Hal, and anybody listening, should be allowed to have anything to do with advertising until they've read this book seven times. It changed the course of my life. The most successful ad man in the history of advertising said scientific advertising is the psychology of the sales letter and how it works. And the difference was is Claude Hopkins only had stamps and paper and ink and envelopes, but he proved what works and what doesn't. You now have the Internet. And if your web presence, if your podcast, if your social media, if your trucks if you're if you're everywhere people can see a marketing message doesn't have the psychologies of the sales letter you are missing out 
and go to Wikipedia and type in sales letter. A sales letter is a piece of direct mail internet designed to persuade the reader to purchase a particular product or service in the absence of a salesman. Salesman. It has been defined a form of, of direct uh, advertising that leads to a potential customer. So don't get caught up on the fact that it's called a letter. It is the words that are the salesman that works for you when you're not there. And if you have a poor salesman online, offline, on the side of your truck, we see it every day, don't we, Hal? We go look at websites, and they are these gorgeous websites with beautiful photography and great-looking logos and zero salesmanship. Yeah. the uh, You know, uh, David Ogilvy said, uh, you have to say it in a way that makes people feel it in their gut because if they don't feel it, nothing will happen. Well, that's what comes from the sales letter concept, the salesmanship. It, it, nobody's going to feel anything in their gut if you just put up the name of your company and your phone number and your address and, and a stock photo. So you've got to use the words properly to make people feel it in their gut. And when you can do that, big things will happen. Well, Hal, when you talk about big things that can happen, you have an opportunity for people to make a big change in their business if they'll take you up on your free one hour. How do they do that? I do, yes. All they uh, Actually, you can give me a call at 770-993-0004 or email me, Hal, at halcoleman.com. I will send you a questionnaire. I think it's 12 questions, probably take you... 10 minutes to fill it out and you get that back to me and then we will set up one hour to spend with you. And the reason I want you to fill out the questionnaire is because that way I don't have to spend the whole hour asking you all these questions about your business. I'll already know a lot about your business and how you market your business and what your struggles are. And then we spend that hour looking for some real low hanging fruit, some places where there are some great opportunities that you're not taking advantage of, uh, and you will leave that call focused on uh, ways to harvest some new customers quickly. And the good part about it is it won't cost you a penny. There's no obligation at all. So uh, if you're interested, give me a call. But please don't give me a call if you're just a curiosity seeker or you're bored and don't have anything else to do because I'm busy just like you are, and I really just want to – engage people who are serious about growing their business and taking it to the next level. So that's what I do. You kind of do the same thing, don't you, Mike? Absolutely. I, I love talking to uh, any business owner and especially pest control folks. Uh, you know, some of the nicest people's conversations I've had. And, you know, we look at your website. I just worked with a, a client this week who had a gorgeous website, but it was just a big picture of a street. It was a picture of a street and we've moved an amazing, uh, response trigger headline to the top of his website. We, uh, we're getting him to redo his video and we're putting some sales letter type information, uh, on that website. And, and, and that was just all from just getting to know each other. The first call is always free because I don't expect you to marry somebody that you haven't dated at least one time. So let's, let's, let's have coffee. Let's get to know each other. Let's look at what's going on. Let's see how we can help you. And, um, that's what Hal and I are willing to do. We believe in and back up and guarantee what we do so much. We'd love for you to call us and it's worth an investment of our time. Call me at 770-826-3662, 770 that's the, that's still my old Georgia, um, uh, area code seven seven zero eight two six three six six two. But you know what, Hal? I'm going to get out of here. I can't believe we have so much fun talking about stuff, and it just seems like the time flies by. But we we better get out of here. I got to go too, Mike. It's been fun as always, folks. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Pest Control Marketing Podcast, and stay tuned for the next one. Wants to take your pest control business to the next level and beyond? Have I got great news for you? Every February, the weekend after the Super Bowl, Hal Coleman and Mike Stewart host the PCO Marketing Event of the Year. Learn what's new in online and offline marketing from Mr. Online and Mr. Offline, Hal and Mike. Previous attendees continue to rave about the results they are achieving using the strategies and techniques they learned at this mind-blowing weekend event last year. 
This event is only for people who are serious about doubling, tripling, and even quadrupling their sales and their business faster than they ever imagined. So if that's you, reserve your seat now at nextlevelpcomarketing.com. That's nextlevelpcomarketing.com. Or call Hal at 770-993-0004. When enrollment opens, you can find out all the details at our website, nextlevelpcomarketing.com. To take your business to the next level, you're only one click or call away. Google Pest Control Marketer. Grow your business like never before. Call 770-993-0004.